We have the 6-5 Los Angeles Chargers taking on the 7-4 Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are going into this matchup as a three-point favorite. This game is going to kick off 1 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday on CBS. The Chargers were defeated by the Denver Broncos last week, 28-13. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Cincinnati blasted, embarrassed, and humiliated the Pittsburgh Steelers 41 to 10. Now, both of these two teams are in the wild card right now for the AFC playoff picture. Now, you have the Chargers who are trying to keep up with the Kansas City Chiefs for the AFC West division. And the Cincinnati Bengals are trying to keep up with the Baltimore Ravens for the AFC North division. The Cincinnati Bengals have been playing some really good football. A couple of weeks ago, at the beginning of the month of November, I made a video asking, are the Bengals pretenders or contenders in terms of being in the playoff conversation? And I said that that answer was going to be determined by what Cincinnati does during the month of November. And so far, Cincinnati has performed really well. They beat the Las Vegas Raiders. They demolished the Pittsburgh Steelers last week. Like, I have been really impressed with the Cincinnati Bengals. Offensively, they're rolling on all cylinders. The offensive line is playing really good. Joe Mixon is having the best season that he has ever had. And this defense has been incredibly underrated. The Bengals are six in the NFL points per game allowed, allowing 20.4 points per game. They are allowing 348.2 yards per game, which is 13th in the NFL. They're fifth in the NFL against the run, and they're really good when it comes to getting pressure on the quarterback. Meanwhile, you look at the Los Angeles Chargers, their defense has been really disappointing. And I believe that I've already touched on how disappointed I have been in Brandon Staley's defense because he's supposed to be a defensive-minded coach. He was the defensive coordinator for the LA Rams last year. He took the LA Rams defense from average to elite in only one year. And I was expecting the Chargers to have a elite defense, at least a top 10 defense. And this defense has been incredibly disappointing. They have the worst run defense in the NFL. They are giving up 145 rushing yards per game and that doesn't vote well because you look at Joe Mixon in the year that he's currently having if you're a Chargers fan you have to be incredibly concerned because last week the Bengals rolled Joe Mixon he had 28 carries for 165 rushing yards 5.9 yards per attempt and two touchdowns and I don't think that the game plan is going to change all that much for Cincinnati going into this game because the Chargers haven't really been able to have success stopping the run all this year. And I don't really understand why the Chargers are having the problems that they're having defensively because looking at this team from a talent perspective on paper, this is a really good defense talent-wise. You got Joey Bosa, you got Kenneth Murray, you got Chris Harris Jr., you also have Asante Samuel Jr., you got Duran James, and Duran James has played really good this year. I don't really understand why the Chargers defense continues to struggle, and I'm wondering why adjustments haven't really been made. And for the Chargers, this team at 6-5 and five has been, you know, what we all expected them to be contending for a wild card spot, contending for a division title, which they are, but this team has kind of been up and down. They've had some good stretches of the season, and they've had some bad stretches of the season, and losing to the Denver Broncos isn't a bad loss. Like The Denver Broncos are also a team that has surprised a lot of people with how good they've been this year, especially on the defensive side of the football, and I'm looking at the charges right now. 
You look at what they need to do defensively to win this game. First of all, you got to get pressure on Joe Burrow. You can't give Joe Burrow all day to throw the football because he's going to make you pay, which means you're probably going to need a big game out of Joey Bosa. Now, Joey Bosa had a monster game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was the main reason why the Chargers won that game because he had, what, two consecutive sacks on one of the most important possessions of the game. So they're going to need him to come up big in this matchup now I don't know how you're going to game plan against the run are you going to play Duran James up close to the line of scrimmage kind of have him playing like as another linebacker near the box to try to game plan to stop the run because if Cincinnati gets this run game going that's going to set up play action you also have to worry about how explosive the wide receiving core is for the Bengals as well you got Jamar Chase who has been the best rookie wide receiver in the league this year you got T. Higgins, you got Tyler Boyd, you got an onslaught of weapons that the Cincinnati Bengals can throw at you. So it's pretty much pick your poison when it comes to this Cincinnati Bengals offense. But the main catalyst for a Chargers upset is going to be the pass rush. The pass rush is going to be there. Now, offensively for the Chargers, this unit has been pretty solid. But Justin Herbert's decision making has kind of been off. Last week, he threw two interceptions against the Broncos. That marked his third game of the year where he threw two interceptions. The decision making has to be better. And during this time of the regular season, mistakes get magnified. We're going into no December. December is the final stretch to make your playoff push. That's really what's going to make or break you. November is where you start to pick up steam and momentum. And December is where you end up closing out and cementing your spot in the playoffs. And for Justin Herbert, the Chargers are going to need him to play at an incredibly high level. And he's going to have to stop turning the football over because he's had three games this year, like I said earlier, where he's had two interceptions. And also... Austin Eckler is going to have to be really big on the ground for the Chargers in this game because this is a Bengals defense that is really good at getting pressure on the quarterback. And you look at their safety tandem with J.C. Bates and Von Bell. I'm really interested in seeing how those two safeties perform in this matchup. But also, you got Austin Eckler coming out of the backfield. Now, he's been playing at a really high level this year. I think you can make the argument to say that Austin Eckler deserves to be in the Pro Bowl this year so they're going to have to use all their playmakers in this game because I think that this game potentially could end up going into shootout territory because we know that the Chargers defense hasn't been good all this year and the Bengals have one of the most efficient offenses in the NFL when you play Cincinnati this isn't a team that's predicated on play action or running the ball a lot or throwing the football downfield Cincinnati is a team that does whatever they're having the most success that they doing it could be running the football like it was last week it could be being methodical just taking whatever the defense gives them or having success throwing the football down the field so it's really hard to slow down this Cincinnati Bengals offense and for the Chargers you're going to have to be able to keep up with it because your defense isn't probably going to get you a lot of stops so for the Chargers offense Justin Herbert cannot afford to turn the football over like like he did last week because turning the football over could get the Chargers into a big hole because you're asking a lot out of this defense not only to get stops on their behalf but to get a stop after you just turn the football over you can't afford that Justin Herbert has to understand that when your defense is struggling you can't put them in an even bigger hole by asking them to come on the field and help save you after you just turn the football over and The Chargers have kind of gotten cold over the last month. They started out 4-1. and And then ever since then, they have lost four out of their last six games. So this is a really big game for the Chargers. And I feel like this is a game that the Chargers must win to keep their playoff hopes and their hopes at winning the division alive. Because the Chargers had a pretty 
good position earlier this year to take control of the AFC West. When you look at how Kansas City was struggling earlier on, Denver was hanging around, but Denver also had a cold point during this year. And the Raiders also had a cold point during this year when they were struggling to win games. Now you look at the Broncos, they're getting hot. The Chiefs are getting hot. The Raiders got a big win against the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. So for the Chargers, they're the team in this division who started out really hot and now they're the team who coming to the near end of the season is starting to kind of get cold. So this is a really big game for the Los Angeles Chargers. So the team I'm going to take to win this game, I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals. I like Cincinnati's defense. I feel like Cincinnati's defense is going to be able to come away with some key stops. On top of that, I don't really think that the Chargers defense is going to be able to slow down the Cincinnati Bengals offense, especially when you look at how much success Cincinnati has had on the ground this year with Joe Mixon. I think Joe Mixon is probably going to be in for another big performance to replicate or have an encore for what he did last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I got to take Cincinnati to win this this game I think the Bengals are going to win this game 31 to 27 is going to be my final score prediction in this game I really like the Chargers a lot I like Brandon Staley a lot but I haven't really seen the adjustments on defense that gives me the vote of confidence and taking the Chargers to win this game and I don't think the Chargers are going to be able to slow down the Bengals offense that's why I'm taking Cincinnati to get the victory